This video on search tips, Boolean searching, wildcards, and more is brought to you by the McCodrum Library at Carleton University. When you're looking for books or journal articles or reports or theses or any other sources for your research, you usually search in something called a database, which is just a collection of sources that can be searched by keyword. These databases can be large, multidisciplinary ones, like Summon, or Web of Science, or even Google Scholar, or they can be smaller and more focused databases, such as Historical Abstracts, PsycInfo, or Engineering Village. But the following tips can be used in most of these databases to help you improve your search results. Our first tip, don't search for whole sentences. Instead, just focus on the most important keywords or phrases. You'll find that in many cases, these tend to be the nouns. Use the Boolean AND to combine keywords that must appear in your sources. So, following on from our original example, my search would now read Innovations and Medical Careers. Now notice that I used AND in all capital letters. Some databases do require this, so it's a good habit to get into. If I wanted to narrow my results even further, I could add another AND, for example, Innovations and Medical Careers and Europe. By using the AND, I'm adding another requirement, and that's why it's a way to narrow down search results. Use the star or asterisk as a wildcard. Now, what if there was an interesting article that talked about innovative medical careers? My original search would miss finding it because I used a different form of the word. I used innovations. So the star placed at the common root of a word allows you to find more sources because it can find all the forms of the word. Another tip is to use quotation marks when you're looking for an exact phrase. So in my example, if I don't use quotation marks around medical careers, I will still find certain articles that will have those two words right next to each other and have the meaning that I want. But I could also end up finding something like this. You can see this example. Yes, the word medical is there, and yes, the word careers is there, but they're not right next to each other. So if I don't use quotation marks, this is the kind of thing that I could find in my results. This is especially important when you're searching databases that contain full text, such as Summon. Use the Boolean OR if you want to look for synonyms for any of your search terms. This is another technique for finding more results, because there's often more than one way to say something. And what if the authors of the books and articles that you're searching for used a different word or phrase than you did? When you already use an AND statement in your search, and you now introduce an OR statement, it's important to structure things properly so that the search engine will know what to do and in what order. That's why we put all of our OR options within the parentheses. Another way that you can change your search is to get more specific. If you find that your search results are a bit vague and unfocused, you might try this. In our example, rather than searching very generally about medical careers or professions, what if we focused on a specific area, for example, pediatrics, or maybe a specific type of job, such as nursing? So this is often a way that you'll get fewer results, but they'll be a bit more focused. The opposite strategy to this one is to get more general. Now, if you're finding very few search results, you might ask yourself if you're being too specific. So you can usually find more results if you try to go a bit broader. In our example, if medical careers wasn't finding enough results, maybe we try to look for uh, just generally innovations in medicine. Medicine being kind of a broader term than the more specific medical careers. To summarize, or to sum up, so one way to find sources for your assignments is to search using keywords and phrases in your database of choice. Do an initial search and then briefly evaluate your results. So for example, look at the results you have and are there other words or phrases you see that might be used in your search to find more sources. If you're not happy with the results you find, Use some of the search tips that we showed here so that you can improve your search. You don't need to use all of the search tips every time you do a search.
The idea here is to give you a toolkit and only use the tips that will help you find better results. If you need more help, contact us at the Research Help Desk, either in person, by phone, or via chat, or contact the Reference Librarian or Subject Specialist for your major. More contact details are on the library's homepage under Help, Research Help.